Angry Ranner Gaming, motherfuck. What is it? It's Pokemon Crystal Clear! What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Marcus Levy, the Angry Rander here for our... I'm gonna get rid of that kind of grady sound. <laughs> Welcome to our second concurrent, first in our concurrent series set we're doing here with... Fallout 76 running Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're now going to be doing Pokemon Crystal Clear version on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So obviously if you're seeing this, it is Tuesday, April 6th, 2021. <laughs> so for those who do not know, what exactly is Pokemon Crystal Clear version? <laughs> well, Pokemon Crystal Clear version is arguably one of the best Pokemon ROM hacks since Pokemon Uranium, <laughs> uh, which was, you know, unfortunately sued into oblivion by Nintendo, but this is the be next best one. It's Pokemon Crystal, so we're going back a generation from the series of Pokemon Sapphire that you probably just watched, <laughs> and we're going to be playing Pokemon Crystal, which is Generation 2. It's basically the Pokemon Emerald of Generation 2 which every person who is a Gen 2 original just cringed when I said that, but I don't care. Gen 3 is the best gen. It was my gen, so get out of here. But <laughs> this one turns the entire game, which has both Kanto and Johto in it, so it's Gen 1 and Gen 2, and it turns it into an open-world RPG where you can pick one of many different starters, you can customize your character like crazy to be literally like any icon in the game, <laughs> And also, you can start literally anywhere. Now, this is the latest build, 2.3.0, which has many updates from the original time I tried to do Pokemon Crystal Clear, which, uh, if you guys will remember, that was probably about... <laughs> uh, sometime around two years ago <laughs> when I tried to do it. I think I was running 1.8.0 or something like that back then. <laughs> this is very different. This has some extra stuff into it, and so I wanted to do more Pokemon, so why don't we crush into new game? <laughs> Select your starting region. So first, I can either choose Johto, or I can go OG, and I can choose Kanto. <laughs> the next best thing is, you can choose whichever town you want to start in, and each of them have an increase in difficulty level. <laughs> And the big reason for increased difficulty level, like for example, <laughs> starting on Cinnabar, <laughs> or even new Cinnabar, is because if you remember in Gen 2, the only thing that Cinnabar Island actually has is a Poke Center on it. <laughs> and we got a glitchy mess, uh, which occasionally happens just when doing the selection screen stuff. Or you can choose to start anywhere in Johto. Obviously, the original town is New Bark, but I could just jump right to Blackthorn. Or, you know, what's the hardest city here? I think it's Cyanwood, isn't it? Uh, nope. The hardest is literally Blackthorn. <laughs> so I don't just have to start a new Bark Town. <laughs> now, the way this game works, in terms of open world RPG, is every gym leader starts at basic bitch level with like maybe one or two Pokemon. Actually, they start under level, like even under what Brock and Faulkner's levels would be. <laughs> And then, when every gym leader you beat, because there are 16 of them, the entire game world levels up in synchronization with you. So if I go and get a gym badge right away, all of a sudden the entire game world becomes just that much more difficult. And because it's an open world RPG, you can go wherever you want. <laughs> they have removed all blockades from you needing to be able to reach certain areas. Now, the only thing obviously you can't do is just go challenge the Elite Four. You can't be like, yeah, level 5, Elite Four, let's go! No, no, no. <laughs> the Elite Four is basic. It is locked behind you needing to beat all these gym leaders. <laughs> the other thing that's really cool is <laughs> they have a guy, and I can't remember exactly where, and there's going to be text that will explain all this uh, before we start the game, but there's a guy who will evolve all of your trade evolution Pokemon. So those aren't even locked either. 
So you can literally acquire almost any of the Pokemon between the two generations, the 251 Pokemon <laughs> that are in this game. You can acquire all of them, which is amazing. So, <laughs> I'm kind of nostalgic for some OG, so I'm going to choose Kanto as my starting region. But you know what? I don't think I want to choose Palatown. I think I want to say... <laughs> You know, Viridian City would also be kind of too easy. Same with Pewter, because you could literally start anywhere. So I'm going to say that I was born by the sea in Vermilion. So why don't we go Vermilion? <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to the character customization screen. <coughs> the top of the screen displays current colors and sprites. Press left and right to scroll through the tab. So all of this is new. <coughs> Press A to enter and B to exit. <coughs> be sure to look out for controls displayed at the bottom. Have fun. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing is the character model, <coughs> which, okay, so there's model, skin, color, edit, and done. So we're going to start with model. So I'm going to choose model. <laughs> so I'm going to choose a male model, but, um, which, which <coughs> doesn't actually matter. But look at this. <coughs> you can cycle between red from Gen 1 being <coughs> gold from Gen 2. You can be blue if I wanted to. I could be <coughs> uh, silver if I wanted to. Uh, I could also be a rocket grunt, which I think is amazing. Okay, so that's the extension of the options. Well, I really don't give a shit. Who has not ever wanted to play as a rocket grunt? I'm absolutely going to be a rocket grunt. I don't give a crap. So what's presets? <coughs> uh, so what's presets? <laughs> ah, presets gives just very specific... <laughs> colors because that's blue and then all of these models have their own colors already so i'm not going to do that but i'm going to play as the grunt next i'm going to go skin because i'm a paley white boy so i'm going to pasty white boy <laughs> now i can choose any color of his uniform it's all black uh you know what i like green because green's my favorite wow it makes his hair green too <laughs> See, this at least looks somewhat normal, just in terms of his hair, but <laughs> really not in terms of his uniform. <laughs> Yo, white sus. Um, no, I'm gonna go green, though, <laughs> just because I like that. <laughs> so now, editing. So what's the... Oh, is that my skin pigmentation? I am blue. I'm blue. Dabu dee dabu da. Okay. Um, can, can, can we go back? I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it allows me to choose a specific, uh, a specific configuration. So if I wanted brighter green or darker green, I could have it. Neon green! Okay, that's gonna be hard on the eyes. Let me just dull it just a little bit. I think that looks fantastic. So what we're gonna do is save changes. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome aboard. A rants. Oh, can we? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I need the lower ones. <laughs> We're gonna have <laughs> Arantz the second <laughs> who joins the game. <laughs> okay, so now I get to choose my bag, and there are <laughs> so many different. Okay, so I can choose the different colors and the different types of bags. So this is type zero. <laughs> well, first let me pick my color. You know, I kind of want to go with a green theme here. <laughs> How many different bags are there to cycle through? There are so many bags. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, are those rocket bags? <laughs> Aw, camo. <laughs> and then just like this patchwork rucksack we got going on here. Patchwork pokey bags? Oh my god, those are pokey bags! <laughs> and then what literally looks like a freaking garbage bag with stuff stuffed in it. I'm not going I'm not going with that, but I, I do want the camo bag. I I think if we're gonna be keeping a consistent theme here, we kinda need the, the camo bag. So I think that's absolutely okay. <laughs> now Poke Gear is a thing from generation two. So obviously I'm gonna be choosing green Poke Gear because that's awesome. Now we get to choose our starters. So you've got your standard. Your, you know, top three. <laughs> and then your Johto top three. But, oh wait, there's also Pikachu and Eevee. But Psyduck. <laughs> Slowpoke. Seal. <laughs> Growlithe. Houndour. Ponyta. My god, there he is. The living Pokeball himself. 
<laughs> Porygon, because I can. Vulpix. And then all the babies. Pikachu, Cleffa, Togepi, Tyrogue, <laughs> Smoochum, Elekid, Magby. And then apparently the extra hard category. Smeargle, Ditto. Legit can just have an unknown, because that's a thing. <laughs> can legit just have a Magikarp, because, like... Do I even start the game with any money? Like, if I can't find a Pokeball, then I literally can't do anything. Just throw him into battle so he dies. And then, your old pal, Shuckle. <laughs> well, I think the choice is very clear what Pokemon we need to go with. Because, I, I, I don't know if, if, if the excitement level was just there or not. But, oh my god, Voltorb. Because, to conquer the universe with just... With, with a sentient Pokeball. Come here, you. <laughs> Choose Voltorb, you're goddamn right. Angry Rance uses the starter ball. Catch the Pokeball with a Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what time is it? According to my own clock, it's, uh, it's 9.31 p.m. <laughs> So many minutes. <laughs> Day is it? It's Tuesday. Yeah. Would you like to hear a little bit about this ROM hack before you begin? Bruh, it's a lot of text. Yeah, hit me. <laughs> hey there, guys. It's uh, your old pal Shockslayer. And today I'm going to tell you about Crystal Clear. <laughs> There's a lot that could be covered. But I'm going to stick to the basic stuff here. <laughs> One, the world has been opened up. There are less restrictions on traveling and navigating areas within the game. <laughs> Two, the game scales with badges. This means that as you progress, <coughs> trainers will be stronger and more things will be available. Gyms can also be re-challenged at any unlocked level by talking to the Pokeball statue. Please note that certain trainers <coughs> related to story events will not scale, such as the sages in Sprout Tower. <laughs> New features I highly recommend, reading the documentation provided for this, but <coughs> a good start is the options and music menus. <laughs> oh, that's right. You'll notice that after you get your starter, you'll be asked to save. Combined with the new Quick Continue feature, this will allow you to reset for a shiny much faster. <coughs> Gift Pokemon like this starter have increased odds. However, all other encounters are still 1 in 8,192. <laughs> Certain events like releasing a roaming Pokemon will now show the overworld sprite as shiny and will play the sound. 4. A handful of new or restored areas <coughs> have been added. None are required to finish the game. <laughs> Number 5. Non-canon stuff is tucked away. <laughs> this means that with the exception of the E4, of the Elite 4, all our new stuff will be optional. <laughs> all 251 Pokemon are available to catch or obtain in some way. The Pokedex's area function reflects this. 7. This ROM hack is still compatible <coughs> with the original games. This includes Pokemon Stadium 2, which has been tricked to believe you've already caught 150 Pokemon, so you can easily transfer without limitations. I mean, if I had Pokemon Stadium 2. 8. A lot of things are renewable. This includes roaming Pokemon, <coughs> any stationary encounters, and gift Pokemon. Most of these are reset by beating the Elite Four. There's also stuff like the TM Mart, where every TM is available after a certain amount of badges is earned. Crazy. <laughs> Number nine. You can have a Pokemon follow you around in the overworld. Just press select on the Pokemon party screen to choose a partner. As you walk with them, they'll grow to like you more. <laughs> cool. That's all I've got. Enjoy the game. <laughs> and we're into the world. As a rocket grunt, save the game for soft resetting. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Angry Rance has saved the game, and I obtained a story. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Give a nickname to Voltorb? You're goddamn right. <laughs> so in the last one, I did... I did name them after people. But I think this time, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to give them fun names. <laughs> because, what the hell? <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to call you... Uh, how would I spell this? I'm going to go with... Bollocks. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Bollocks. <laughs> Which, of course, every British person just went, Did you just name that testicles? Of course I did. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks, level 5. <laughs> Who already knows Flash. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so Bollocks' moves are Flash, Screech, Thunderbolt, and Headbutt. Interesting how at level 5, Voltorb already knows these moves, including Flash, which is literally an HM move. But that's, that's interesting. So let me check these option options here. Tech speed. Fast. I want battle animations. Ask for switch. Always run on. Absolutely. <laughs> frame type. Oh, I love. I love just messing with the frames. And of course, there's more pages. I kind of like this, like Super Mario Bros. Three looking one. <laughs> Encounter fancy <laughs> nurse. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so there's a thing in this game called Quick Nurse, where literally you can just walk up to the nurse and just goes, "Ding!" They're healed. And so I'm good. Oh, and and it also turns you away from her. So that you don't accidentally re-engage with her. Which I think is fantastic. <laughs> so, that saved. And now the music options. <laughs> so, you can choose whether or not you want certain types of music. So, for example, <laughs> I can have Ruby Sapphire Emerald literally for all of this. Because Gen 3 is the best gen. <laughs> Oh, Pokemon Center, it just says Ruby. Alright, fine, just, just give me Ruby. <laughs> Bicycle, Ruby, 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 Ruby. Low HP warning, no, because that's so annoying. <laughs> that's perfect. I love all of this that I've just done. <laughs> and then, of course, here we are, A Rants, with $3,000... One Pokemon in the decks, and so many gym badges that still yet need to be earned. <laughs> but, of course, starting in episode number two, we're going to venture out into the world. Alright guys, like and subscribe, and there's more Crystal Clear coming. Peace out.